Hello and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today is a very exciting day. Finally playing Quidditch Champions. This is something I've been waiting for for a while. Don't remember if there's a, been a Quidditch game that has come out between this and the Quidditch World Cup for the PlayStation 2, I believe it was. But I'm very excited for this. This is, this is my jam. I love Harry Potter, big Harry Potter nerd, go Ravenclaw, and this seems awesome, so let's jump right in. Well, we're a fair ways above 22, so the conjuring, I like that. So from my understanding, you play at Hogwarts, and for a national team, I believe you can create your own character. But I, other than that, I don't know much about this game. As young witches and wizards, we all dream Got about the burrow. through the sky like our favorite heroes. It's very uh, prisoner of Azkaban. We've all wondered, do I have what it takes to be the next Quidditch star? To beat my toughest opponent? Ooh. To keep my composure when it matters most. I really like the style too. To chase my dreams at any price. To seek glory for my team. Because someday that dream could become a reality. And the road won't always be easy. Old. But if you just keep getting back on your broom and trust in your teammates, Quidditch is magic. So ask yourself again Do you have what it takes? Do you have the heart? Of a Quidditch champion. Yes, we're gonna find out. I'm very excited. This is my jam. Ooh, looks like I can. I think we're gonna be. I think we gotta be a beater. Purple eye. Hair color is good. I actually really like that hairstyle already. Plus, it's more athletic, you know? Plus, I have had hair, my hair like that, so I'm going to do it. I think we definitely need some glasses. Not a Gryffindor. How? Oh, this is the first chaser? That's alright. Get 
this. You gotta start somewhere. Every Quidditch champion's journey has to start like somewhere. Big and for many, that's in our own backyard. In our minds, the garden is a grand Quidditch pitch, and wind blowing in the trees is a roaring crowd. Can you picture yourself playing among your heroes? Weasley Burrow Guardian Cup. Don't fall off your broom. Well, where? Welcome to our backyard Quidditch pitch. Before How would you like? Flight, let's make sure you're comfortable on your broom. Ooh, that's a good Rest question. in the saddle. And double check your grip position. Well, let me change controllers. I don't know. It's my game. When you think up, the broom should do exactly what you want. If flying doesn't feel natural, Try some adjustments. Jeez. <laughs> that takes some getting used to. So forward up. Try to invert it. There are a lot of threats on the Quidditch field. L one. Whoa. You can really push your broom for an extra boost of speed, but it won't last forever. You'll eventually need to ease off and recover. Jeez. Okay. I think you're ready for something a little more advanced. Drifting will let you fly in one direction while looking in another. I use it all the time when lining up a shot on the goals. Okay, hold. Hold L2 to drift and R1 to aim. Well, I guess that's probably tackle. Like getting the hang of it. Definitely better than Neville's first time on a broom from what I heard. Here's a quick challenge to really see what you can do. Oof. So I steer with the right. That's confusing. Oh. <laughs> it's kind of hard. I have to invert that. There's no rush to move on until you're comfortable. How are you feeling on that broom? Brilliant. We're just so going for it. Second. Each team has three chasers. They're the heart of the Quidditch team. Just in case you're watching and you don't know what Quidditch is. And a chaser's job is to, well, chase it. When the other team has the quaffle, our chasers need to get it back at all costs and bring it towards the opponent's goal. And working as one, throwing the quaffle through any opposing goal scores our team points and brings us that much closer to victory. Quidditch is fast paced, and you'll often need to change your approach quickly. Sometimes a change in perspective is all you need. As 
the chaser. Your main concern is the quaffle. Have a look for it now. R1. Okay. Quidditch is first and foremost a team game. When you find yourself in an advantageous position, let your team know by calling for a pass. Now that you've got the quaffle, don't forget about the rest of your team. Individual talent will only get you so far. The truly great chasers know they need to pass to their teammates. Where's my teammate? As a chaser, your main focus is to score points for your team. The more you score, the closer okay. you get to winning. Get those points. Always be on the hunt for the quaffle. If an opposing chaser has possession, that can easily be resolved with a swift tackle. Oh my. Jeez, <laughs> this is hard. Let me nope, let me try. Let me try this. So up up is up. Nope. Chasers, are you? I was hoping you would say that. Let's get into it. Chasers only for this first match. Chasers only. My next chaser. Ooh, start the preset. Make her nimble. Some striking blue eyes. With me. I think. I think that'll be easier. Molly. That's random. <laughs> Ah. This one's a miss. 
Oh. And keep your chin up. Yes. Keep moving at downfield. Some visitors steal possession. Shoot. The quaffle is pass. So are they not gonna am I the only one who's gonna be scoring? There goes the shot. So that's fine. This is the who. There goes the Woo! Oh, no. Dang it, Molly. Oh, what are you doing? And it's a miss. There goes the stitch. He takes the shot. This chase makes scoring goals look easy. All right, all right. Oh, that's my team. I wonder if I can, like, bank it there. Oh, nobody wants to get it? Maybe I'll get it. Yes! Keep moving it downfield. Oh, shoot. Oh, get it. Difficult. That's it, everyone. The show's over. This match has been brought to you by the handsome blokes at the Weasley Burrow. Mind you, don't step on any gnomes on your way out. Oh. I wonder if this will be any easier with a teammate very first match but it was well earned shall we challenge them to a rematch or are you ready to learn more about quidditch i'm ready to learn more All right the lesson continues the keeper adds a lot of depth to the game 
So let's add one now. Oh, and I think my brother Ron will be the best person to fly you through this role. Have fun. All right, Ron. Mr. Weasley is our king. I just want to change this hairstyle. Quidditch would be rubbish without the keeper guarding the goals. A good defense can make all the difference in a match. Your team's keeper has one very important job. Stop that quaffle from going through any of your goals. Being a good keeper requires the tactical mind to predict where the quaffle will be shot and the agility to stop it. With their vantage point, a keen keeper inspire and guide their chases as well. It may sound like a lot of responsibility. Can't wait to try to try out a beater. Single-handed saving the goal. Chasers can play a decent defense. But to properly guard the goals requires a keeper. Keepers have their own way of moving. More like a hummingbird than a hippogriff. Give it a try. Diving is an important skill for a keeper to learn. It lets you move quickly and accurately between the goals. Oh, L2. L1 and R. Okay. As a keeper, it's important to know where the quaffle is at all times. Don't forget to keep focus on it when you need to. The keeper's job is simple in theory. Stop the other team from scoring goals. It's trickier in practice. Chasers will try and trick you, so keep a close eye on them and be ready to move. Your team depends on you thinking on your feet. Um, broomstick, in this case. Oh, I missed. <laughs> Oi, don't doze off back there. You've still got a team to help. From here, you've got the best view of the happenings on the field. Show us your leadership skills and give your team some guidance. Okay. Now, let's watch the effect that has on your chasers. Speed and energy, huh? The keeper's kick is an indispensable tool. You can use it to deflect quaffles and bludgers, or you can even give other players a good whack to drive them away. Ooh, and bludgers, Let's give okay. it a go. Try and save this next shot on goal by deflecting it with a big kick. Ooh. All right. That's about all you need to know as a keeper. Brilliant. With the keepers added to. All right. This is the week. It's going to be interesting. We were supposed to do chores today instead of going off to play Quidditch, but no one said anything about bringing the Quidditch to us. The quaffles up. Oh, what the heck? Talking to on this team. There goes the 
Oh no, shoot. You've got this chaser. Try again. Oh, what the world? Some speed. Yeah. Keep moving it downfield. Tried at least. Always good to see a team passing the corporal around. Will this go level? Oh, shoot. Oh, what? Nice try, Chaser. The visitors steal possession. There's a pass. The snitch is on the field. That's a tie breaking shot. That's a pass to a teammate. Oh, that was my bad. Yes, keep moving it downfield. Will this be a tight this to make scoring goals look easy? Okay. And this is a little tough. Chase the tie the game. This keeper is on fire. Psych. And the quaffle is in. All right. That's it, everyone. The show's over. Just need some good practice. Career fame? Moonstone. Defense are both crucial on the Quidditch pitch. Now, shall we move to the next lesson? Oh, really? Next lesson. Let's move on to the roles that make. Quidditch. I know Fred has been getting. Yes. Let's get into it.
Love them or hate them, depending on which side of the bludger you're on. What are bludgers? They're iron balls that are fast, aggressive, and enchanted to make players balls. off their brooms. A bruiser's job is to use a bat to drive those nasty buggers away from your team. Or theirs. What could be better than seeing your opponent set up a perfect play and totally ruining their plans? Oh, this was easier than being a keeper. The chaser isn't equipped to deal with bludgers. For that, you'll need the beater's best friend. As a beater, your main focus should be on supporting your teammates by disrupting your opponents. And that all starts with a bludger. Okay. Drifting isn't just a chaser trick. Beaters can do the same. Often the devastating effect. Okay, so okay, so drifting would be is like an driving. physical game. Mm -hmm. Every hit Bank will knock you off balance. Take too many hits, and you'll be tumbling off your broom. When all else fails, you can just pretend you are the bludger and tackle your opponent. That usually does the trick. Over here. All right, let's put all this practice into play. Hit that player with a well placed bludgeon. Don't worry about hurting them. They volunteered for this. Well, they were voluntold to do this. I'm sure they'll be. Okay, let's knock them off their broom. Same as last time. Send a bludger their way while they're still at balance. Maybe we should worry about hurting them. Just a little bit at least. All right. Spectacular. Fred and George would be proud. Now take what you've learned and master it. Knock everyone on the field off their broom. Now that you understand what the beta does, are you ready to see them in action? It's been the sure. match with bludgers and beaters in the mix. Watch your head up. Oof. Dodge. We I gotta remember to that. Today instead of going off to play Quidditch, but no one said anything about bringing the Quidditch to us. <laughs> that still makes me laugh. Molly Weasley. What? Oh my. Drift, Tyler, drift. Goal. 
Oh. Yes. Keep moving it downfield. Think what ball is pass. Sorry, wrong. There's a pass. Ah. The chaser passes. No one's hogging the quaffle on this team. Start playing real matches. This can't be. This can't be a little rough. Timing too. I think the gnomes are back again. This is Ginny Weasley signing off. Oh goodness. Now we got secret left. Nothing like dodging blood just to get you. No broken bones. Match before we bring this. Then that means nah, we're ready to learn snitch. the life of the Quidditch puzzle. I'm not a bad seeker myself, but I wasn't the youngest seeker in a century. So I'll let Harry handle this one. Harry. Fast. It's given Miss Frizzle. <laughs> Everybody knows the Seeker. Their job is to find and catch the elusive Golden Snitch to score big for their team. Easier said than done, as it's the size of a walnut. I suppose they don't call it seeking for nothing. But aside from sharp eyes, better have sharp reflexes too. Because once uh, you find the Snitch, that's where we're the issues. Chase it and grab it before the opposing Seeker does. If you can stay close to the Snitch, anticipate its movement, and dodge a bludger or two, you can actually hold victory in your hands. Alright. We'll see how this goes. Seekers are entirely focused on the golden snitch. An elusive golden ball. It's tricky to find, and even harder to catch, but gives your team a load of points. When the snitch has been detected, it's time for the seeker to step up. Usually, you'd need to find the snitch first, but for now, we'll just focus on the fundamentals. You'll get a chance to play hide and seek with it later. The snitch is famously hard to keep an eye on. Stay focused to avoid losing track of it. Keeping up with the snitch can oh be my. but using those gold rings will let you fly faster for longer. Seekers need to be quick and agile, making tight turns at a moment's notice. Drifting isn't... This time, you'll need to find the snitch yourself, and quickly too. 
You won't be the only one looking for it when we're actually playing. Keep your eyes open for a glint of gold, and listen out for the flitter of its wings. Come on. That's a little tough. <laughs> Jeez. That, you know everything you need to know to play Quidditch properly. First real Quidditch match. First real match. Let's do okay. it. This one is for all the gobstones. We'll be playing with full teams now. So. All right. Let's do it. This is the Weasley Twins, your favorite prankster. We were supposed to do chores today instead of going off to play Quidditch. But no one said anything about bringing the Quidditch to us. She squaffles up! No, Dutch! Oh, what the heck? What are you waiting? Do you wait team? Steals possession. Sake. And that's a goal. Miss. Suck it. Nothing's getting past that keeper. There's a pass. That's a pass to a teammate. One ball is passed. Chaser lines up the shot and. What a save! Nothing's getting past that keeper. Oh no! And the shot misses. What a great pass! Let the hunt begin. There goes the shot. Nice save. 
Niche is revealed. Oh. No. Can a hero save us from this lull and score? He stole the portal. Oh. I should do that before. He spots his chance. Incredible shot. That was better. The game has a knockout by the beater. Great pass. A chase of fumbles. That was rough. <laughs> in this game too. Sorry, Mrs. Weasley. Oh, what the hell? He just missed it. There's the snitch, but who will be the first to catch it? Everyone in the stand, watch out for those bludgeons. There's a pass. Over 
here. No time to slack off. It's just the, the battle for the snitch is over, but the war continues on. Okay, so end of the match. Perfect timing too. Okay. So you can catch the snitch as many times as you just gotta win. Previously of the Hollyhead Harpies, and now esteemed Quidditch commentator. Okay. I can dig that. A lot of people don't like how Quidditch is scored. I like it. I don't mind it. It's truly not that big of a deal to me. So. Room customizations. The speed, the teamwork, the danger. The danger. It's so thrilling. A resounding victory. I don't think any of them saw that coming. You've really earned our illustrious Garden Cup. Thank you. We found some spare brooms lying around if you wanted them. Gave them a quick dusting and everything. They may not look like much right now. But given some time, I'm sure you'll be able to unlock their true potential. Okay, so... My team... This is my team as I created. Oh, so this is Chaser. I want... I want straight speed. Keeper, I want him to have some agility. He doesn't need speed. Oh heck yeah! But we got we got to go with the Ravenclaw colors. Here, kind of want. Nice to have all three, but stick with that. Chaser also speed. Seeker. Again, speed and agility would be nice. I think it's as fast as I got, so the chasers have all. Same room. Oh, yeah, they do. So I guess it makes sense. All right. I think that's gonna do it for this first episode here. Kind of obsessed. I need to practice so I can get better. So we're going to do that in the next episode. Later, nerds.